Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I will be testing out a bunch of new makeup. They are not newly launched, but they're new for me. Some of them are first impressions and some of them that I have played around with just a few number of times. So yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first product that I'm going to be using is the Lacme Absolute Precision Eyebrow Artist in the shade Dark Brown and uh, it's a retractable kind of um, an eyebrow pencil and it doesn't have a spoolie though but uh, yeah it has a tip in the end so i'm just going to be brushing my eyebrows upwards first and hope for the best So right off the bat, this product is extremely pigmented and you will need a spoolie to kind of like blend the product off. And yeah, that works actually. Okay, so this is the best that I could do, but it's not that bad, but it's too thick right now. That's what she said. But yeah. Also, I'm really sorry if I'm looking this side. That's because that's where I can see my face. In general, I think I do like this product. Uh, it's a, it, it, I think it will take some time for me to work around it, but I do like this product to be honest. So yeah, that's that. Now the next product that I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's a travel duo. So I got this back in Feb from uh, US uh, when I was over there. This is a great, the whole reason why I got this was for this setting spray, which I have been using a lot. Uh, but I have never used this quick fix. So this is the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. It has uh, niacinamide, coconut water and sepitonic M3 which I have no clue what that is. This is a 30 ml of product. This unfortunately is not available in India so I'm sorry but I did not have any other primer which is like kind of new for me. So this was the only thing that was new. So shaky shaky shaky. Oh, it smells coconutty. That's nice. So I'm just going to dab it using my beauty blender, which again, you guys, I have used this like literally three times and I love this. I had been using the Real Technique sponge. Guys, um, this is amazing. Trust me, I can't find a difference. It is good. And it's so soft. Yeah, now I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte which I have been waiting for it to launch in India. I never picked this up when I was in US. I don't know why but I got this over here. It's a demi matte finish. I think it launched like six months back. Like I said again, these most of them are not like brand new launches. They're just like new products for me. 
so yeah this is a demi matte finish air light oil free kind of a foundation up to 24 hours and it is in the shade 108 this is how it looks I have used this just one other time and for that I had used it for quite a long time and it lasted so this is amazing So this is just one layer of it you can immediately see how mattifying this was for my skin like earlier you could see the shine it has evened out my skin tone but I can still see the blemishes around the problem areas so I'm just going to take one more layer of it So yeah, this is the base. I'm really really happy with this foundation. I think this is the holy grail and this as of now is above my fit me foundation. So this is good. If you guys are looking for a good foundation, invest in this. Moving on to the concealer, I got the Maybelline Age Rewind which recently again got launched in India. I got in the shade 130 medium. This has been a holy grail for a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people. And this has been there for so many years, but I think in India just recently launched. I look ghostly on camera but trust me over the mirror it looks fine my eyes are super bright but my rest of the face is not as ghostly how it seems also even if it does no worries we'll make it work so the next product that I have right now it is the fit me loose powder which I'm super excited about because in India I did not see any proper loose powders uh, they were just like one or two which I was not so sure how good it is but yeah but this one since I've heard raving reviews about it I'm like super excited and this is in the shade light medium okay so what I'm gonna do is just shake it okay so this right off the bat is a bit yellow but let's see if this kind of works I'm so scared So I'm just going to dab and roll wherever I would get oily. So. so for the eyeshadow, I'm going to go with the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. Now the reason I'm going for this one is because I recently purchased it. I have done only one look using it. Uh, but I really want to play around with it more because I love the shades. And my most 
favorite shade of all. I mean, the whole reason why I got this palette was for this shade right here, which is a duochrome bluish, brownish kind of a shade. So I'll just quickly swatch it for you guys and show you what I'm talking about. So you guys see the shift. It is beautiful. It's brown with a blue kind of a duochrome effect, which is lovely. So first I'm going to be using the transition shade right on top. I'm just going to concentrate on my colleagues. I'm going to use it on this side as well. Concentrate on the crease there. Next, I'm going to go with this shade right here. This is the other. I'm going to concentrate that more on the crease. And kind of overmend it as well. I'm going to darken the outer area of my eyes. So now moving to my favorite shade, I'm going to take this duochrome bluish shade. I'm just going to use my finger for that. Just taking my ring finger. Got this shade right here. Let's see this. It is so pretty. And this is even without wetting the product or any brush or anything, it's just using my finger. Going over to the next eye. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with a blending brush and I'm just mixing both the shades like Now for the brow bone highlighter, I'm going to take this shade. Just highlight the brow bone. Now what I'm going to do is I want a nice cut. So I'm just taking the concealer and taking a flat brush, a nice packing brush. Going. I'm just going to like make it sharp. So it just looks a bit put together.
Now it's time to remove the excess powder which has been baking for quite a while. So once I finish my eyeliner and lashes, I will be back. So my lashes are on, my eyeliner is on, and for my upper lashes, I had used the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This is the gold one with the purple writing on it. And this is a wonderful mascara. I had used it like twice before, and I am loving each time I use it. It is really nice. As you guys saw earlier, my eyelashes are like zoop like this and uh, this kind of gives it a good kind of a boost so yeah awesome. so the lower lashes are done so now i'll be using the eyeshadow on the lower lashes for which i'm going to be using this transition shade right here it's just to put all the eyes together I actually should have done my uh, eyeshadow first and then the mascara, but my damn forgot about it. So. Last for the eyes is I'm going to be using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I'm sorry, it is filled with stickers, uh, but this is in the shade 001 Black. I have again never used this one, but this is like a great. Uh, I've heard a lot about this, so yeah. And I love kajals just in general because who doesn't? So next we're going to jump in to the contouring. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche, the contouring palette. And I have just used this only once before and this was in the previous video which again I'll link it down below. So I'm going to take this shade alone. Since we use the Fit Me Loose powder, I'll not be using the banana powder. Above the excess. So the left over I'm just going to be using on my forehead. So yeah, this is Dulce de Leche. I really like this. It's very blendable, it's buttery, it's nice. Next, I'm going to be using the blush. Now, this is nothing new. It is extremely old. I have used this like a million times and this has never disappointed me. This is hands down one of the best blushes. It is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This gives such a beautiful corally and a pinky kind of a blush, so I really like that. Oh. 
Oh shoot, I forgot to contour my nose. I don't know why I keep forgetting it. For the contouring, I'm gonna go back to the Wet n Wild contouring palette. I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm just gonna go for that. I'm just using a very, very old, uh, this angled brush, yeah, that's what it's called, the angled brush. And just going to take some product, tap off the excess. Straightening from this eyebrow area, just from there, dragging it down until the tip of my nose right here. Go back to the shade again, tap off the excess and the same process. Hope you guys can see. back to the contouring brush and just blend out nose contour just so yeah the nose is kind of done so for the next exciting product, I will be using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. Now I have been dying to use this for such a long time. So yeah, let's get this open first. So this is how beautiful it looks. It's so blinding. And yeah, I'm just gonna take a simple fan brush and go over it. Gonna take some on my finger. Okay, this is totally worth it. So this is what I was waiting for. Let me just dim the light a bit for you guys and show you how this is looking like. It's like crazy. Okay, back to normal. Now for the lips, I'm going to be using the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Loved, number 12. So this is my holy grail kind of a lipstick. And last but not the least, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is another OG for me. I thought I left something out and that is highlighting my inner corners. So that is it for today you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did creating this look. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the like as well as comment down below if you have any questions. Do not forget to follow me on my socials. And until the next video, take care. Bye.